Try this. Oh, <laughs> this is real. Let's Prepare go. to be dazzled. No. Nah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Paige McRae here from McRae Motocross Co. And today, we're going to show you how to hook up a trailer. Now, every trailer is different, so this isn't going to be like the tell all for every single trailer hookup. But if you've never done this before, it just gives you an idea of things to look out for, uh, what you need to know, so that way you feel more comfortable doing this on your own. First things first, um, if your car doesn't have a tow, tow package, <laughs> Also the towel is an unpaid actor. Oh yeah. <laughs> like free flags fly, man. <laughs> so none of you could steal my ride. It's okay, I don't think anyone wants to be you. <laughs> Handle drop. See anyone can hook up a trailer. See anyone can hook up a trailer. Dingus one and dingus two can do it. So can you. <laughs> but anyway, so like my car, for example, didn't come with a tow package on it. So I went on to Amazon. Um, and bought one for like, I think 150 bucks. And then I had good old Papa Chief help me install <laughs> it. Um, so first thing you want to do is figure out how much your tow package, like how much your car can tow. And then you want to figure out how much your trailer can tow. Obviously this is something that you can Google. You can look up in the owner's manual. I know that my car can tow up to 5,000 pounds. So I got a tow package, uh, that can tow up to 5,000 pounds. And then this little lady here, well, we've packed her with a lot of stuff, so we don't actually know how much she can tell, but uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so first things first. Um, you I'm should show take. how to put it in. I know. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to take Please hold. We got a little <laughs> excited with the, put the hitch in. <laughs> so my car, uh, be careful, it's a little uh, dirty. Uh, my car sits a little bit lower, so I opted for a hitch. Um, is this a hitch? Yeah, whatever. I opted from one of these that goes up. <laughs> I don't remember what all the names are, man. You don't need to know the names to know what you're doing. <laughs> what did we learn from the trail chasers? <laughs> you can still know what you're doing if you don't know the names. Okay, so hitch. Um, Drop hitch, turn it upside down to raise. The, the peanut gallery would like <laughs> me to include that this is a peanut gallery drinking Bailey's. No drinking on the job. We don't pay you for that. Peanut Gallery would like me to mention that this is a draw pitch that we turned upside down to make it a raised hitch. Um, so since my car sits lower, do a raised hitch so that way the tongue of the trailer isn't um, dragging on the concrete when we drive. So see this hole? Hello. Um, so this we're gonna line up, so just come on down here. Um, your hands are probably gonna get dirty. Just be careful, the ball is definitely going to be dirty, um, so try not to touch that. So we're gonna line up the hole with the second hole, which is big, you'll see, it's the same size, so it makes sense. And then we always use a locking pin, so very important, you always wanna put a pin in. Um, this will save you from your entire hitch coming out while you're driving and then losing your trailer and all of your things. <laughs> It has on happened. Uh, would you like to get in this video? <laughs> Dad has forgot to put Dad the pin in. <laughs> I wasn't going to call you out. I wasn't going to say anything this way so you can see. So put the lock pin in. I'm kind of doing this blind, so, so bear with me. Ours spins whatever lock pin you have. Um, but then that way it's locked in. This also helps prevent people from stealing the trailer or your stuff. Um, Normally when you buy these, they come with a regular pin, um, which is great too for driving, but just if you're like us and you leave your trailer out all the time, like when we're out and traveling and stuff, uh, it's safer to have a lock pin. All right, so second thing we wanna do, once you do that, I kind of skipped the steps, but um, back up your car. If you don't have a backup camera, so I have a backup camera now, it definitely makes it a lot easier. If you don't, just have someone help you. Um, you want to make sure before you start backing up um, that the tongue of your trailer is higher than the ball on your hitch. Um, how do you do that? How would, oh, how do you do that? Yes. Well, you use this handy dandy. <laughs> I feel like I'm turning butter. <laughs> you turn into a colonial woman. You embrace your inner colonial woman. <laughs> and you, so it gets me and You crank on it. it. <laughs> so that'll help raise it. Um, Obviously we have plenty of room. One thing I forgot to mention too, 
there are different ball sizes so you want to just make sure that the ball size matches the tongue size um again <laughs> <laughs> mature <laughs> so two inch ball two inch itch two inch tongue uh, huh. um, all right so once you get it lined up like i said again if you don't have a backup camera just have someone help you or just go really slowly back up get out back up get out um we've all done it we've all been there so now that i'm lined up i actually think i'm gonna be a little too far back so come here okay hey come with me <laughs> i want to show you something <laughs> under here Stop. Hey, you want to buy a sundial? Hey, you want, <laughs> hey, you want to buy a sundial? <laughs> Come look at this. So this right here is what latches onto the bottom of the ball. So when you pull the lever shut, that is what closes up and keeps the trailer locked on the ball. So obviously, if this isn't lined up well, that's going to get stuck on the ball. Yeah. Oh. oh, look at that. Buttery smooth. Mendes. <laughs> Hello, over here. Oh. <laughs> Get back up here, and you're still so out there. I thought you were like talking about. I don't know. So I cranked, turned the butter wheels all the way up. So what you want to do? Put your wheel. Up. Like I said, every trailer is different, so yours might not look exactly like this. But what you know, just make sure that the wheel goes up and that it's locked. Second thing, we're a little Beverly Hillbilly. Our handle broke. I broke the handle. Mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> I jackknifed the trailer we were <laughs> driving through the main streets of Vegas. I'll tell you what, and that's just to show you, even the most expert of drivers sometimes make a mistake. And it's okay. okay. It's okay, man. It's okay. Next things that you want to do. So pull. Oh, see, this might be the problem. Mm. It looks pretty smooth. No, I need to go drive forward a little bit. So basically what's happening is that it's not like there's too much room on the front because the trailer is facing down and my car is facing up. Um, so when I try to close this, the teeth come down and are hitting the ball before they're like have room to go underneath it. So what I'm gonna do is pull forward a little bit and just close the gap. Sweet. BRB. Okay, so I pulled forward literally just like I didn't even really like put the car in drive. I just let it roll forward like itty. It itty bitty little bit. Yes. And now pull this up. It doesn't go. <laughs> I swear we just closed it, man. Our trailer's also a little. She's 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 traveled. She's, she's well traveled. Yeah, she's, she's well traveled. Well -traveled. Um, so the now I'm this is completely closed. I'm gonna put a lock in this. This also helps prevent people from stealing it. And then the next thing we're gonna do is connect the chains. So these are all just things that help act as a safety if something does go wrong. Um, so chain goes through. You don't want it to be, you know, you don't want it to be so loose that if you're driving, the chain is dragging, but you also don't want it to be so tight because think about if you go to make a turn, like if I turned left right now, this would be so tight. It could break. It could break or break something on the trailer or the car. So you want it to be loose. You want that Goldilocks, man. Just right. I didn't teach her that, but that was good. <laughs> yeah, our chain, and again, this all depends on how long your chains are. Our chains are pretty short, so we're not too worried about them dragging, but just want to make sure, like, I kind of test them out. Like, okay, if I make a turn, how much room do we have? But also I know that they're not dragging on the ground. So looks pretty. It looks good. Looks goldy. Um <laughs> last thing we want to do, I think that's the last thing. Um electrical. <laughs> oh god. Just make sure this connect with this. There's different types of electrical outlets on different trailers. Um so if yours doesn't look like <laughs> if one of them doesn't look like the other, you can just go to like I don't know, I think Home Depot and get an adapter. Just wanna make sure, connect your electrical, everything looks good. Hooking up a trailer, you are good to go. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you learned a lot today. Uh, subscribe to our channel, McRae Motocross Co. for more videos, um, how to's, and stay tuned for the next video, uh, how to load a trailer and drive it and back it up. All the things. Peace out. Mm -hmm.